Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Absolute madness happened on FIFA yesterday with Summer Stars team number two. We had Extinct, 99 Neymar. I mean, an insane juice to that card. The team that they put in packs yesterday was great. This showed on SB SBC between Jorginho and Declan Rice is great. The objective was great. I want to talk about what happened yesterday, the price movements that we are seeing, and why a lot of the market crashed. It really, a lot of the market crashed yesterday, but I think that is because EA put out some insane insane cards and there's obviously been a lot of investing recently too on PTG cards and the festival of footballs specifically that Laporte card so I want to talk about that of course as the Spanish weekend league is kind of going on people are finishing those games and selling those players you're going to see some of those prices drop off as well and I want to talk about that but first things first we got to take a look at some of these cards that they released onto the game yesterday specifically this guy man 99 rated Neymar can we just look at the boost that they gave this card his 96 team of the season has 70 physical this card literally broke the game today plus 12 physical on this Neymar everybody in the high upper tier echelons of FIFA uh, with a lot of coins those types of guys they were selling their moments icons their team of the season Ronaldo's team of the year Ronaldo's all of those high tier cards took a drop yesterday because people wanted to go out and get this Neymar card Neymar is arguably the best this 96 Neymar people were saying was the best card in this game they go out and they give him a plus three boost into 99 with that big of a physical boost Everybody wants to get their hands on this Neymar item. He's got so, so, so much hype. He was extinct at 5.7 million when he first came onto the market, and he's getting bought up right, like crazy right now. You can see 6.28 mil uh, right there getting bought up off of the market. So he was actually extinct at 5.7. He went up to 7.5. His price range was updated at 10 mil. He dropped all the way back down to under 6 mil and is now back up to about 6.3 where you just saw him sell right there. So crazy movements on those cards, crazy movements on a lot of cards. But this Cavani is just one of the other cards that they dropped today that is a huge W. I want to show you this team and just talk to you about all the huge Ws, right? I think Team 2 is better than Team 1 purely because of the skill move upgrades and the weak foot upgrades that they put on some of these cards. And also, just like the balance that this team has, right? Last week with Messi, Ronaldo, KDB, we had like three really big top tier cards at the top. And then so many cards like under 100,000 coins, right? You think about the team from last week. This week, we have so many cards that are in that 100K to 700K range. So many of them, right? I love that. I love that there's a lot of good cards in here and the skill move and weak foot upgrades that they did. Raheem Sterling is basically an English Neymar. Five star, five star, right? They gave him a really nice juice from his 92 rated uh, foot birthday version. And they gave him that five star, five star juice, which is insane for that card. Edison Cavani, uh, a great card as well, getting a plus five from his SBC he had earlier this year. They also, also gave him the plus one star in skill, so he's four star, four star. Same with Harry Kane, who I was actually able to pack today. I saved 35 player picks. I packed myself Harry Kane and Alejandro Gomez, right? Insane luck. I'll show you the team in a second. But this card is now four star, four star. This is the best Harry Kane we have ever seen in any FIFA. Huge, tremendous W for this guy. One of my favorite players in real life. A very deserved card. Jordi Alba getting a plus four. Plus four from his team of the season item. His team of the season, Jordi Alba, was 450,000 coins this morning. Now, this card is already lower than what his card was. There were huge price drop-offs on like the secondary versions of these brand new cards that got in the game today as well. Chiellini is a big dub. Chiesa is another weak foot, or sorry, another skill move upgrade. After being 4-4, four, 4-star, four, four 4-star four star for his team of the season and left mid item, EA Sports gives him a right wing 5-star skills upgrade for this summer stars Kiesa, which is a huge dub for him that was a very nice upgrade uh yarmolenko with a really nice card for 60k that's a really fun looking card to use and ferran torres finally getting a big boost as well look at this plus 10 pace plus 13 shot 12 passing 12 dribbling 10 defense and 10 physical and a very 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 deserved upgrade i think this guy deserved more cards from playing well in the champions league earlier on this year. I think we expected him to get more cards, um, but a huge deserved upgrade for Ferran Torres. And of course, a couple more Spanish cards to help out with the weekend league as well. Lukaku's card looks fantastic. Uh, again, just another plus, uh, plus two boost off of his team of the season with insane looking statistics for the tournament that he had. Again, Gomez's card looks really, really good as well. Uh, the, the melee card, right? This is actually really, really big. Uh, a left-sided card. He's actually right-footed with a three-star weak foot. Hopefully, you can get that uh, 
that weak foot inside foot cross or outside foot cross with the inside foot like he had uh, in the Euros, which basically is what he got this card for. But that's a nice link to the objective goosens if he did that card. Overall, big fan of the cards that EA dropped yesterday into this game. Even Chiellini is a really good looking card. So a huge, huge fan of all those cards that were dropped yesterday. Now we'll talk market in a second, but let's continue talking about the content just a bit. Again, the Jorginho and the Declan Rice were SBCs we saw yesterday. Declan Rice had like a two-star skills, three-star weak foot, and they boosted him to 4-4 four, four for this card. Low high work rate, so a center back or a center defensive mid for sure, but a big, big upgrade on this card. Really, really, really nice item. And again, potential for a plus two. 160K both for these SBCs is not too bad. Jorginho with a really nice looking card as well. This one has the most thumbs up on footbin from yesterday, of course, with basically club 90 stats. And if Italy do go on to win, with the Chelsea links as well. A lot of Chelsea special cards recently, right? Links to Thiago Silva, to Havertz. Um, you know, we've had so many Chelsea cards that have come out in the last couple of weeks for players that have performed well for their national teams or just special cards in general. Um, big W in this Jorginho SBC, big W in Declan Rice. So whoever you're supporting, you got a nice SBC card uh, to support that favorite side, of course, this weekend. Now, the biggest, the first game, I would arguably say one of the biggest games as well, a very fun game we're looking forward to is Brazil, Argentina today. Messi versus Neymar, of course. Thiago Silva, which a lot of you guys have done. That game is happening today. We actually had a third place game in Copa America happen just uh, tonight, a little bit uh, before, or a little bit, it just ended right before I was recording this, and it was actually Colombia playing against Peru. They won three to two. So Davinson Sanchez actually should be in line for a plus two. I bought one of his cards yesterday for the club, for the full Spurs team. And of course, they did win. So that card's going to get a plus two if EA remember to do that from that third place game, which is their third win. But we also had another Premier League center back that dropped yesterday in FIFA, and that was this Yeri Mina card. And man, we've had so many center backs dropping recently, which I really think has impacted a lot of prices on the market. Now, let's talk about PTGs for a second. We mentioned earlier in the week that I thought PTG cards, they were going to drop soon, right? And I didn't expect it to be this fast, but they got their upgrade last night. We talked about it in the video, and a lot of those cards, basically, after the upgrade, have dropped off a lot. And they dropped off even more yesterday into the content and after the content as well. Eder Militao, 723,000 coins. I think this is a combination of his last upgrade that he can get would be five-star skills, five-star weak foot if Brazil do end up winning, which I don't think there's as much hype for that as a defender as there would be if he got another plus one or plus two. His rating upgrades are not going to go any higher for a lot of these cards. Basically, all the path to glories besides uh, the Davids and Sanchez are only going to get plus uh, the upgrades to skill mover weak foot if they do win their next game and Italy if they go on and win the tournament won't even get upgraded because they've already achieved max upgrade status so that's why I think you saw a lot of these cards drop off in price even very popular ones popular ones like Acuna who is heralded right now as like basically one of the best center mids with the most statistics in game in FIFA he's up a little bit but he was down into 940 950 range earlier today you look at some of these other PTG items that dropped off a lot I have a Firmino on my transfer targets uh, I think this Firmino was basically down so much because of the Neymar today right but then, of course, he does link to Neymar, still live, could get a, that five-star uh, weak foot upgrade to go along with his five-star skills. Uh, he was down to 1.8 million coins, rebounded back to 2.1. Um, let me see an, a couple other cards that dropped off big time today. Of course, I knew this Vinicius was very, very, very overpriced, and it was confirmed today. With the Neymar coming out, a lot of people sold their Vinicius Jr. items, which right now he is still very rare on the market. So that's why you're seeing his price move around a lot. He is actually 3.7 mil is where he just was on this market. 3.7 mil for Vinicius. He was 5.5 mil literally 24 hours ago. But with that Yeri Mina and a lot of those center backs coming out, you actually saw this Laporte card, who a lot of people have invested in and were using this weekend for Weekend League. This card has actually dropped off a decent amount. And I think, honestly, he's going to continue dropping. As you can see here, two owners tradable. We check this all the time when cards are on the market. That tells us that there are some people that are, you know, investing in these items and using them for weekend league. A second owner with no games played is that perfect um, 
you know, just telltale sign that people are selling off these cards from the weekend league and they're selling their investments. I think that's why you're seeing this guy Laporte and some of the other center backs in this game go down some is because again, all the center backs that have dropped recently with Thiago Silva being very hyped with the Yeremina card being very hyped as well as a free item. And then of course the Spanish weekend league objectives coming to an end. You're seeing a lot of these Spanish cards drop off in price. I think this Laporte falls down further today. I think that Eder Militao could potentially drop down a little bit as well. Of course, whoever does end up winning the game tonight, that card could go up in price a little bit. But uh, I'd, again, I'd be very careful because I feel like a lot of the hype for the upgrades for those PTG cards are kind of done and gone. Now let's talk about some of these cards a little bit more. And I want to talk about Neymar too and just show you the impact that this Neymar card had on the market today while he was even extinct at 5.7 million coins, look at what this Neymar did. And it's directly related to this Neymar, right? When we see a card of that stature and of that amount of hype get a 99 rated item in this game, this R9 Ronaldo has basically been extinct with a couple cards on the market this week, you know, uh, but he's basically been extinct for like three, like four months. Basically, since this card has entered the game, people have paid real life money for this item. When this Neymar card came out today, there was a full page of R9 Moments Ronaldo's on the market because people were selling this card. People were selling their other prime icon moments. The, these cards are down so much. 3.6 mil for 94 Eusebio. Cruyff, Cruyff Moments, Cruyff Prime. These cards are down so much just because of this Neymar item. Ronaldinho Moments was 5.2 million coins. Right now he's 5.4, so he's 5.35, so he's bounced back up a little bit. But just crazy, crazy price drops on the high tier market today. Also, what we said yesterday, I was really worried for team of the season, Neymar, uh, because I knew that if he was going to get an item yesterday, which he did, that this car was going to drop off. And this Tots Neymar is dipping under 4 million coins. And honestly, it's probably going to go down a little bit more. The more that this 99 Neymar drops, this one's probably going to follow it. So again, you just saw a lot of prices that really dipped down yesterday on the market on the high tier side of things. And it was specifically because of that Neymar. That Neymar has so much pull in this game because when you drop a card like this, People are going to be interested. People are going to be all over it. So again, he's chilling about 6.2 mil. We'll see where he goes later on this week. I think the left wing position change maybe hurts him just a little bit. If he was a center attack in mid, he might be a little bit more because then, of course, you have a little bit more flexibility. But still, that's the card that a lot of people were hyped about. Um, other price movements that we saw, this Raheem the Dream Sterling, 1.7 mil right now on the market, 1.65. He was down to 1.4 uh, six, 1.47. A lot of these cards, as we were expecting, got really low in like that third to fourth hour, uh, and then kind of rose back up out of rarity, right? A card I want to take a look at and show you right now is this Kiesa card, uh, who got the five star skill upgrade right now. I believe he's like 560, 570,000 coins. He was down to 470 K a couple hours ago. He rose back up. Um, Gomez was like 300, and 60,000 coins, and he is now back up to like 450,000 coins, 440,000 coins. So, I mean, these cards, the the price fluctuations that we saw were very expected, but it's, of course, it's just cra it's crazy to see some of them move around on the market. Now, Cavani as well was down to like 180,000 coins, 190, and he's now 230K with that upgrade that he got. So, I do expect more fluctuations on these cards. Um, you know, today with more lightning rounds, what we saw last weekend with Summer Stars team number one is that those cards kind of crept down over the weekend and they had a really low point on Sunday when the upgrade packs came out and all the content came out last Sunday. It was a pretty big day with the SBCs that they dropped. Um, I would expect these cards to probably hit a bit of a low then, maybe rise up a little bit into the week like it happened last week, but then getting lower, of course, as we head out of Summer Stars and out of Festival Football with Rewards Day and possibly a guarantee guaranteed summer stars team two pack could be coming uh later on this week so that would be a kind of if you want to buy any of these for your team i would still continue to wait right because i think a lot of these card prices will drop off over this weekend league now again i got insanely lucky yesterday i built up 35 player picks before the content drop uh yesterday for the stream and i opened those 35 i was able to snag myself an alejandro gomez untradeable and also a 98 Harry Kane, which this one is the one I'm just so excited about. So excited to use this card. I don't know if I'm going to use him as a center mid. I feel like I got to use him as a striker though, man. 
a striker or a center attack in mid. High, high work rates, four star, four star with that four star skill upgrade. It's going to be so nice to be able to dribble, of course, better with him as well. 85 agility, 90 balance. With the four-star skills, the 99, like everything, shooting and the composure and the dribbling is going to be fantastic. So I'm so stoked to use that card. I mean, that means the world to me as a Spurs, Spurs fan. Finally, a link for my uh, Rashford as well. I'm going to have to figure out a whole entire brand new team, try to get some of these guards in it because I packed Maldrich as well. I'm going to be doing Ramos. I mean, I got to figure out the squad, boys, because we have some insane pack pulls recently and I got to get them in the team. But that's a little update for my personal account with what's going on there. Let's turn it back to market for just one more second because I want to talk about SBC fodder because it didn't drop as low as I originally thought it was going to. And I think that's because there wasn't as many packs opened yesterday. 84s are 8,000 coins. I think if we don't have a big SBC player today, which I guess is possible, I would expect some sort of summer stars item dropping today. Um, we had a big SBC last Saturday because we had the Kimmich that was released. I do believe that was on Saturday. So maybe they drop a big SBC on us today. We still didn't have a French player inside of this team. Not a single French item was a part of the Summer Stars Team 2, the objectives, or the SBCs. I don't understand why. I feel like there should have been a Benzema, maybe a Conte, maybe a Pogba. I think there could have been a few of those items in there. Maybe they'll release them as SBCs. Who knows, right? Who knows? I think they got a little bit uh, the short end of the stick, if you will. So for some of you French fans out there, I think there's some cards that hopefully we could be getting this week, but kind of sucks at least for the moment. Anyways, fodder, I think, depending on the SBC content today, it could drop a little bit lower. Again, I was hoping to see the 84s like 6 to 7K. There's still 8.5K. I was hoping to see 85s at 10. There's still 12. And I was hoping to see 86s get to like 17, 18 there's still 22. So I think there's more room to drop. I want this stuff to drop more and it makes sense that it could drop more with preview packs, of course, still happening. I think I might have a couple preview packs available. Yeah, I got one of them. Let's do this 100K preview pack because I do have this one available. Um, but we will have more lightning rounds today, which will supply these cards more on the market. And it looks like I'm getting myself a UCL Brazil center forward Roberto Firmino. So uh, an 87 Firmino right there. GG's. That's not going to be my money back on that pack. But I do think we will see more of these preview packs for lightning rounds supplying the market a little bit extra today on Saturday and of course on Sunday as well for these cards. But of course it's exciting because we have got our showdown SBC, the first one of the finals coming today, happening today. These cards expire. So last chance to do Thiago Silva or Correa if you wanted to get uh, involved on any of those items in this game. Now, one thing I'd watch out for today for sure too is watch these new Summer Stars cards on the market because they're still decently rare. There's still a decent amount of hype with them. I'd really watch the Neymar. Really, really, really watch this Neymar today because I think this could be a big card that fluctuates around the content drop. Um, he's got a decent amount of supply. He really does. And if people that bought him yesterday that are trying to make a quick flip, if they uh, sniped one at 5.7 and they're trying to get their coins after playing with them a little bit, if there's a big drop on this card today, or especially a big drop on Sterling as well, um, just kind of take note of which of these cards are really rare, right? Rarity is huge. Rarity is king when it comes to these cards. Uh, Sterling, uh, Neymar, and you know what? I might even throw Jordi Alba into this mix because these cards are pretty rare. How many pages of supply do we have for Jordi Alba? We got one, two, three, four, five, six pages. That's not bad, but 97 rating and just Jordi Alba always has a really low pack weight. Is a pretty rare card. The only thing that I don't like is that people are going to be selling off some of the Spanish cards. But all I'm saying is keep an eye on some of these items today as people uh, may be selling some of them off before they expect them to get supplied through lightning rounds and stuff like that. Kies has only got five pages, barely five pages on the market. He's a pretty rare card. So just watch out for panic selling, especially on Sterling and Neymar today uh, on those top two tier, high tier cards and um, the highest rated ones because they're the most rare. And those aren't going to get packed that much during the lightning rounds today. So, you know, I'd keep an eye on those. And especially those that are very hyped up like Sterling and Neymar. And maybe there could be some fluctuations that you could actually buy them in the panic selling uh, in the morning and then sell them later on. So that's one thing that I watch out for. Of course, keep an eye on your PTGs as well. This Havertz is right now um, like a mill. So I'm kind of keeping an eye on him because this guy fluctuates a lot. A million coins flat, just chilling right there. So I might keep an eye on that one. Foden, of course, was like down at 1.2 mil flat. Now he's back up to 1.3. Again, we talked about the Firmino. We talked about the Orente. So 
Just a ton of price fluctuations yesterday, and some of the cards from Summer Stars Team 1 actually dropped off as well, and they're not rising out of packs. Some of them have gone up. If we take a quick look at the team, Ronaldo's gone down a lot, 3.88 mil. Modric is up. De Bruyne is up. Um... And a lot of the rest of the stuff is just kind of chilling or it's down a little bit. And I think that's just because of the team that we had come out yesterday. Now, depending on the, the content again today, we will see if any of these cards move up more or if they do kind of move down more. But I'd be very careful with some of your other Spanish cards that are on this game, like Jordi Alba team this season. I know I'm, I'm talking about these Spanish cards a lot. Jordi Alba team this season, uh, he is how much right now? He is 272K. I'd be getting this guy out, man, because he was down like all the way at 200, and I think like 10K. There was a lot of panic selling on some of these items earlier today, especially with Jordi Alba getting another card in this game. Let me take a look at this, actually. Yeah, 480K. He went all the way down to 210 and is now bounced back up with, of course, hype and necessity as people need him for their Spanish weekend league teams. Really watch off uh, or watch out for some of these Spanish cards dropping off as the weekend league comes to a close. Seriously, seriously watch these guys. Butra Gueno, what did he do yesterday? He was 680, kind of dropped back down. You know, bounced back up to 660 and actually 610. But I think that selling is going to really start this morning on Saturday and it's going to continue throughout the day. So watch out for your Spanish cards as you are going to see some price drops there. I don't expect a crazy day of content today. Again, I think it's going to be all about the Copa America. Hopefully, a drop, maybe a pack SBC, and then, of course, uh, maybe a player SBC for Summer Stars today um, for our content on this Saturday. But good luck if you're grinding the weekend league. GG's if you're doing that. I am not going to be playing this weekend. Um, but I am going to get the team sorted with my brand new 98 Harry Kane, 96 Gomez. I got to get Isak and Muldrich in there as well. Got to use those Summer Stars cards that are just freaking dope so again a big 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 day of content yesterday with a 99 neymar all of that did for the high tier market the Jorginho and the declan rice are wsbcs ggs to ea for finally upgrading some skill moves and weak foots we do love that and hopefully we see more good content later on this weekend and of course sunday with upgrade packs i want to spend i will spend like two million coins trying to pack neymar this week man i'm really going to go for it i really want to pack neymar i'm going to do my best to try to get him and get that 99 rated card at this stage of FIFA, we're just going to go for it, right? So that's my plan, and hopefully EA provides us with some good upgrade packs to be chasing after that. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about this Summer Stars Team 2. What do you think about the market? If you're losing coins, it's July, man. Have fun. Have fun with the cards you want to use. Use the cards you want to use, and don't be worried about losing coins that much. It's July, right? That's my message to you guys again. Just a reminder. Oh, one quick... One quick last thing, I want to point this out. EA Sports is officially rebranded their Twitter account to FIFA 22, and that means their focus is on FIFA 22. Tomorrow, we're actually going to have on the 11th of July an announcement. They said it right here. This is the new cover for FIFA 22 for the Ultimate Edition, and they're going to be talking about and revealing, um, I think, the trailer for FIFA 22 on Sunday. So that's one thing to kind of look out for. But again, every time we see this rebrand, we know that their focus is shifting. So that's one thing that I wanted to point out to you guys as well. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did like it, make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.